The multiply step instruction is intended primarily to act as one step of the 18 required to perform a multiply of an 18-bit signed number by an 18-bit unsigned number. There are numerous additional uses, including circular shifts and various and sundry other sorts of multiplies that can be accomplished with differing initial conditions, loop counts, and so on. These options will be discussed in a later class on programming techniques. The purpose right now is to clarify what the primitive actually does and what its intended use is. <coughs> in the multiply step, three registers are coordinated with the ELU and some interesting logic. Top of stack register and the A register become logically a 36-bit shiftable register. In fact, it is treated as a 37-bit register, as we'll discuss in a moment. This register is capable of shifting right one bit at a time. It is also capable of having a 19-bit add done into the top part, specifically T. S is loaded with the multiplicand, if you will, is if you regard A as being the multiplier. S is conditionally added to T at the beginning of each multiply step instruction. S and T are both sign extended to a 19-bit form at the beginning of the add. The add, if it is done, simply adds the sign extended 19-bit S to the sign extended 19-bit T, and then in the second part of the instruction, the entire 37-bit register is shifted right one bit. The determination of whether or not to do an add instruction into T depends on the lower bit of A. So initially, to start one of these operations in the, most, in the most common way that we do it, T is initialized to 0, A is initialized to the multiplier as an unsigned number, and S is initialized to the multipli multiplicand as a signed number. One then does 18 multiply steps. At each multiply step, if the lower order bit at that time of A is a 1, S will be added into T. If not, nothing has changed up here. And then the whole thing is shifted right one bit. After 18 cycles, done thusly, the product of A and S appear register T and A concatenated. It is possible to achieve weird results with this by executing the plus star instruction with extended arithmetic mode turned on. We don't recommend that. Yes, indeed, there is a carry that is used into T, and the output of the uh, uh, carry out of bit 17 is also latched in the carry latch. We don't have any useful purposes for this. It just falls out of the logic. We don't recommend that you use it, but if you find anything that it actually is useful for, please let us know. Again, there are many other uses of the multiply step instruction. These will be discussed later in programming techniques classes.